how do you transport individual value mappings in SAP uh, CPI? It's a question we've gotten from, from a lot of customers uh, wanting to understand how they can do that. And now we've added that option. So we are looking at value mappings, packages, URLs, documents, and doing versioning on these things. Most importantly is, is the packages and value mapping. So let's just take a look at what you have with the value mapping. So here we have value mapping three. We have versioning, so we can go in, we can compare these different versions, and we can see that in this element, it's different. So that's really nice. We can see what's going on. We're also populating this into our uh, Git repository. That means you would also be able to see all the information here. So here we can see the value mapping. We have the option in our Git repository to um, show the history. We can show the differences between two versions. And then we should be able to find this uh, specific element that's being changed. Uh, we would also have the option to, to format this uh, so we can see what, what the value is. We don't have any way to, to upload this uh, at the moment. Uh, so all of this is just as a way to understand what's, what's in the value mapping and what you can do with it. The next option is we want to take this value mapping and be able to transport it in our landscape. So we'll take our landscape and our package. We will assign it to a ticket. And our ticket concept is much like your Jira service now incidents. It, but it's just a way to handle all the PI, CPI related content. So we'll create it. We will specify which landscape. We can pro, pro, uh, enter a Jira number. So we know what was the business reason for making this change. We can fill in our documentation if we want to. We just need to create license for this. So that's good. Now we have created a license for it. And we can create our ticket. And with this, we can now see all the objects we have in this uh, process. We can start our transport. So now our transport has been created. We can see it here. And we can now send it to approval so we'll send it to approval and i'm also approver here but otherwise it will be people that has access to approve it that can approve the transport you can specify why you want to approve it or reject it and now we have the option to import so we'll press import and this will do the import it will configure it in the target environment, uh, deploy it. Uh, right now we're just using virtual systems, which means we'll just make a copy of it on our uh, QA uh, system. Uh, but in real life, it will then be configured uh, automatically. And if we then go to our CPI system, we can now see this is a virtual transport. We will have one that's called QA transport package. We can see we got the artifact here. We got the same version number as we have up here and we got the same uh, version ID here. So that means it's really simple to transport packages, understand what's being changed and handle it. The same with iFlows and a lot of other information we have uh, regarding this uh, transport. So hope you liked it. If you want to try it out, go to figaf.com forward slash IRT and try out the tool.